Well, welcome back to the channel, everyone. It's great to have you all here today on Operation Life. We are going to be replacing this window on our RV door. So stick around to see how we do it. Welcome back to Operation Life, everyone. It is great to see you. I appreciate you all very much. And in case you're new to the channel, my name is Joshua Wells, and we do a lot of DIY projects, a lot of how-to projects on our RV here, a lot of RV lifestyles and even adventures that we go on at the destinations that we go to. So consider subscribing if you haven't already. Now, like I said, today we're going to be replacing this window on our RV door, and I did start actually filming this this video, and then I realized with the new mic setup that I had forgot to turn on the audio. Big bummer, because I've already got stuff laid out. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the camera so you can see what we're looking at, and so I can show you what window we got to replace this thing with. I know you can probably see this, but I'm going to hold this up so you can see it a little bit better. This is not a sponsored video. We did purchase this window with our own money on Amazon and it's super affordable folks. If you haven't made an upgrade to your RV door window yet, I highly recommend this product. I've seen great reviews across the board on this thing and I'm really looking forward to installing it. Now it comes with tinted glass. It also comes with the frame and even a shade so that uh, you can block out all the light. Now this is what we've got and what I'm going to do is I'll put a link down in the description below so that if you do want to make this upgrade you can go ahead and uh, get the uh, get that window from that link. Now on the outside of the frame it does look like it has some weatherproofing already on it so I don't even need to bust out my butyl tape which is absolutely phenomenal. We do have hardware here and those are Phillips head screws. We also have the uh, shade here. It looks like it all comes in pieces, so you're gonna have to put this together all by yourself, um, unless you have a helping hand. My helping hand, Melissa, is actually making lunch for us right now. Uh, she might come out and help out a little bit later. Now, it does also come with instructions here, which we will be using. We are going to be installing this together today, so it's gonna be a big learning process for the both of us. Here is the inside of our frame. And of course, last but not least, the nice tinted glass. Now, as you can see behind me, the uh, glass that's currently on the door is not very appealing. It's not a flat piece of glass like this one is. It is actually uh, one of those distorted pieces of glass. Sorry, I just looked back there and I saw Melissa staring at me through the other window. So typically you won't need a five in one scraper tool. However, stuff all over it. So I'm gonna have to scrape whatever's on there off of there. I'll pull you off the tripod here in just a second, give you another close up in case you haven't seen the last re video of our temporary repair, which by the way, the flex glue held up perfectly. So if you need a quick repair on broken plastics or something like that, definitely consider flex glue. I'll go ahead and put a link to that in the description below as well. But the stuff worked really great, really great. I'm actually pretty impressed and the sun's coming out. So I'm going to put my sunglasses on. What you're going to need for this project is either a screwdriver or a drill. And if you use a drill, you're going to want to be really careful because you don't want to tighten the screws down too tight. First thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put some tape on the outside of this window. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm gonna be doing here. And this is uh, just to hold it in place while I take off the, uh, the other side. I'm gonna lock this door in place here. that came off pretty nice let me get you a close-up here see if you can see this I can't really get the tripod any higher 
So the leak we had was coming in right through here. You can see there's breaks in between the sealant and the glass. So that's actually where our weak points were. And of course the cracks here in the frame on the each edges here was just allowing water to come in. Now the good thing is, is that all this insulation right here is perfectly fine. So we caught the leak just in time. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop out this exterior part portion of this thing. Now the tape shouldn't be causing any issues on getting this out. What's actually causing issues on getting this out is whatever the previous owner put along the sides here, I am unable to push this thing out and I should be able to. It sure is a good thing that Melissa found the five in one scraper tool. So we are gonna see if we can get up underneath this thing. Hey, Han, can you grab the window? It's falling out. How am I going to grab the window when the screen's in the way? Oh, that's right. The screen's in the way. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop. We're going to pop this out. Sorry, I was just like, uh, how am I supposed to help when... Uh... It's all right. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, the exterior frame... Wow, that flex glue is the only thing holding the window in right now, actually. Well, then it's a very sound investment. Very good investment. It doesn't even want to let go of the glass. Uh, All right, well. Five and one. Wait, we'll make no, what we'll do is we'll just put some tape on the upper portion of that window and hold it in place, please. Uh, Up top. It was just a matter of time until we had Melissa come out and help, wasn't it? All right. So when you're doing this yourself, you do want to tape in the window, uh, but this thing shouldn't be so difficult to get off of here either. Yeah, it's insulation. There we go. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. See where the water damage is. Yeah, it's not too bad though. This right here is what you don't want, folks. Look at all that nasty caulking around this thing. That uh, made it very difficult to get off, but uh, it's off now. So we should be good to go. You gonna finish making lunch, hon? I don't think so. I think we'll be okay. Will do. Thank you for the help. All right. So as you can see, this thing's pretty filthy. So we want to clean this off. Make sure that we have a flat surface to connect to with the new frame. And one thing that really helps, what? Yeah, flat and clean. One thing that really helps is denatured alcohol. We'll clean this really well. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any right now. So the directions actually state to go ahead and place your glass directly inside the frame. This is your sealant, so no more sealant is required. So it's a pretty tight fit. There we go. Now, the same masking tape, but painter's tape is fine. Just any tape that'll be able to hold it in place. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and install this onto the door and we'll put tape on the exterior, just like we did on the removal. So unfortunately, uh, my camera has a mind of its own and it did its own thing and stopped recording. Uh, for the one minute that it took to just set this window in place and put the tape on here to hold it in place so that we can install the interior portion without this popping out. So you didn't miss much, literally just set it in there and taped it down. Here we are with the interior portion of the frame and the uh, window shade. It 
what it says here on the instructions, I'm not sure if you can see me over there, but uh, it says the shade installs into the five plastic snap clips located at the top and bottom of the interior frame. So you do have to install this yourself and the five little snap pieces are here, 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 here. And then the other five are just up top here. The side with the springs, from what I can tell, is going to be the top. Now you want your uh, handle piece facing outward. So in this case, we're gonna face it down. And that's gonna be your little handle. Pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and put this into place. Now, you definitely don't want to tighten these down too tight, which if you have an adjustable uh, drill like I do, you want to make sure that you go to the weakest point so that you don't over tighten. If you over tighten, you will crack the frame and you do not want that. No wiggle room, we should be tight. And what we'll do is we'll check the front real quick here. Now it looks like we can actually go a little bit tighter. So we are going to do that. Like I said, you don't want to go too tight because you will crack the frame. Sure, lunch is finished, huh? Look at that. The amount of time that it took you to make lunch. I installed our new window. All right, check it one more time. That's looking pretty nice and tight. All right, well, there's our window, the shade. Oh, that is pretty snug. Probably take a few times to loosen it up, but that's it. Our new RV window with shade. Hopefully this video helps you out with your next install. If you do want to get one of these windows, I'll put the link in the description below for easy access. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Until next time, have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Get it all purdy, right? Purdy. <laughs> Take two. Whoa, whoa. Swashbuckle! I can do this. How's the beard look? Does the beard look all right? There's a subscribe button over here. You see this playlist link right here? Here, this, this box, right? Somewhere right here. Go ahead and click that for more RV videos. I don't know if that's gonna work. Give us a click over here on the left hand to subscribe to the channel. We'd appreciate it. Have a great day. It is really your choice. And I love you. Just roll with it.